Howdy folks. Today we're doing uh, electric fencing on a budget. So we've got barbed wire all the way around our 50 so acres that we're renting here in Kansas. And we spent the last couple weeks trimming and trimming all the trees off the fence and repairing it as much as we could. The fence is like 100 years old, so we're just doing what we can. Right now it'll hold cows, but we want sheep. So we're adding a single strand of 12 and a half gauge high tensile steel wire, uh, 12 inches inside the barbed wire and about 12 to 14 inches off the ground to keep the sheep in. Um, you would not want to do this without the barbed wire, but the barbed wire kind of gives a physical barrier and then this reinforces the need for the sheep to stay in. So, uh, we've got some, I'm just putting in fiberglass sticks right now. I've already got my wire all stretched and mostly tight. So, since we're trying to do this as low cost as we can, most of the stakes I'm using are these three inch, uh, three eighths of an inch fiberglass stakes from Ken Cove. A friend of mine is a Ken Cove dealer, so we got, I got them through him. And all we gotta do is hold the wire up. So these three eighths are gonna do the job for us in most of the places. And then I got some of the thicker half inch for when we need to make a little corner or something just to give their a little more rigid rigidity. So I'm just gonna demonstrate what I'm doing. Um, I'm putting these stakes as far apart as I can because all we gotta do is hold the wire up where it'll zap the sheep when they come up to it. So I've got this little black cap that I can put on that'll protect the fiberglass from my hammer. Just drive this in. I'm putting them in pretty deep because I don't want to have to come back and whack them again. Then I got a pocket full of these clips. Ken Cove doesn't sell these clips to my knowledge. They have some other wire clips. That's what they look like. But uh, that those will do the job too. So they go on here and that then that'll bend and the other hole go on the stake. And then you squeeze the back and slide it down to where you want it. And then it, it grabs a hold of the stake and we'll keep it there. So we'll do another video about running out the wire, but that's what we're doing right now, putting in posts. Um, you can put in a ton of fence this way for really cheap. So we'll see you in the next one.